Hi, welcome to this lesson on rhythm. In this lesson, I want to show you some basic fundamentals on rhythm and counting and strumming so that you can go forth and apply this to any song you learn. And we're also going to have a go at the song Knock on Heaven's Door. So let's get into the lesson. There are four beats in every bar, usually in music, if we were in 4-4 four, four time. Okay, so when we strum a chord or play a note, we're just letting it ring for four beats. Now I've got a G chord on here, there's an easy, easy G, or you can have the whole shape on like this. Uh, so we're going to just strum once and let it ring for four beats. Here we go, after four, one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Now, the other type of note lasts for two beats, which is called a minim or a double note. After four, let's have a go at that. So there'll be two every bar. Two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, now we're on to a crotchet beat, or otherwise known as a quarter note. There'll be a strum for every click that you'll hear. So nice and easy. Here we go. One, two, three, four. 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 Next we have quavers which are known as eighth notes as well. And they are half of a beat. So a whole beat and a half of them, so you get two in each beat. So every click you'll be playing twice. So you might be doing down and up. That's a, a little bit more efficient. So we're gonna be doing down, up, down, up, every different click. So after four, ready? One, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. Now this is a great exercise for you to practice just by playing through these different rhythms with a metronome, going through the different note values and switching between them. Okay, so let's take a look at Knocking on Heaven's Door, which has a nice simple rhythm. And let's look at the chords to start with. Now if you're just starting and don't know any chords, here's an easy G. We've got the second finger on the E string, the string one on fret number three and we're going to be playing the bottom three strings otherwise you can play the big G we have finger two up on the top string fret three finger one on the second string fret two the third string third finger on the second string the B string on fret three and the little finger just going to sit below that you might see a version that just has that third finger on I suggest that you use this version because it's a great way to change to a D chord and another chord called C add nine as well, which you've probably come across. So that's the G chord. The next chord we're gonna have is a D chord. And I can think of that like a triangle shape. You'll have your finger two on the bottom string, fret two, so if you were doing the easy G, you can just slide back. Uh, finger one goes on the G string, that's the third string, fret two. And in the middle of that, you'll have the third finger on the B string, that's the second string, fret three. Okay, the, the next chord is an A minor. We're gonna have the first finger on the second string, the B string, fret one. The second finger on the D string, fourth string, fret two. And the third finger on the G string, fret, fret uh, two. And then the fourth chord in here we have the C chord, which is just like A minor, just lift that third finger and put it up here on the third fret of the A string. If you're finding that difficult and you're just starting out, you can play a C chord just like that, just like the A minor, but you just take that third finger out. Okay, now if you just learned those chords, don't worry about it because we're gonna go through each chord at a time. Now, to start with, and one of the reasons to show you those rhythm, that's a great way to approach playing songs because often 
when we see videos or we're trying to learn a song from a tab, the actual strumming pattern is too complicated for us to learn the song if you're just beginning. So here's my process for learning songs. Keep it nice and simple. This song has a chord every bar and we're going to do one song, one strum per bar. So what I mean is the chord progression or the order of chords in Knocking on Heaven's Door goes G, D, A minor and A minor again. That's the first bit. Then it goes G again, D and then C for a couple of bars. So that's G, D, A minor, A minor, G, D, C, C. Now the way you can use a metronome to practice chord changes is sticking on your metronome and just practicing two of the chords. One, two, three, here's the G. So one, and that gap will change. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now with that, you can get a little bit more complicated and say, right, I'll try two strums every bar. Two, three, four, one, two, If you can do that, try three strums a bar. Two, three, four. One, two, three, change. One, two, three, change. One, two, three, change. One, two, three. You get the point, and now we can do all four strums. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Now when you get to that point, whatever stage you're at, when you get to the point where you can do all four strums with the metronome, with all the chord changes, without any gaps, you're ready to do the full strumming pattern. Only then go on to the strumming pattern, don't skip those steps. So that's a great way to build up your, your skills and playing the song. Okay, so let's say you've learned all the chords, you're okay doing the four strums, Okay, so let's play through the song with one strum with a metronome. G, D, A minor, A minor, G, D, C, C. Here we go. One strum. Two, three, four. One, two, three, and D, and one, two, three, and A minor. One, two, three, and again, four. One, two, back to G, three, four. One, two, three, and D. One, two, and now C. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and G again. One, two, three, and D. One, two, three, four. A minor. Two, three, four. One. Okay, now I'm at 70 beats per minute. What speed did you play that at? You can do any speed you like. The correct speed is the comfortable speed for you. So you might try 50 beats per minute. Maybe you can do quicker, you can do 80. Uh, 70 is quite a nice pace, so that's what I'm using today. Now if you can do the, the one strum, then you can go and do two strums, and then the three strums, and then all four strums eventually. I'm going to just show you the four strums and everything. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. D. Two, three, four. A minor. Two, three, four. One, two, three. And G. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And C.
Okay, if you've got to that stage, you're ready to do the full strumming pattern, which is one, two, three, and four. So we have beat one, beat two, beat three has two quavers or eighth notes, and then beat four. On beat three with the two quavers, we're playing down up. So the strumming pattern is one, two, three, and four. Down, 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 up, down. Let's practice that with the metronome here. Two, three, and four. One, 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 two, three, and four. Practice that so you can do it with the metronome, whatever speed you're playing that at, and then you apply that to all the chords. Let's try that with all the different chords. Here's the D now. Two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Let's try A minor. Two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Let's try C. Three, four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Now let's hear the whole song with the full strumming pattern. One, two, three, and four. 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 And there's the song. You'll notice on the C chords and the A minor chord, I'm using my thumb just to mute the top string to stop it ringing, so you can actually strum all the strings. The G is a, a six string chord, the D is a four string. You can also kind of mute the top two strings if you can reach. Otherwise, you're just careful with the, how you're strumming on the first four strings. And A minor is a five string, and so is the C. Okay, I hope that's helped you with rhythms, an introduction to rhythm, and giving you a song you can go away and practice. Keep things slow, then you can build up. But that is the way to learn to play songs. Okay, hope you enjoy the lesson. Make sure to subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you next time.